Welcome to Latin per Diem. Today we begin a series on John Calvin's Institutes of the Christian Religion. This excerpt is taken from Book 1, Chapter 5, Section 9. It's the 1559 edition, the last one that Calvin issued before his death in 1564, and this text is from the 1618 printing in Geneva. Let's take a look. Videmus non longa nec laboriosa demonstratione opus essa ad eruenda quae illustrandae aserendaeque divinae maestati serviunt. Testimonia. The remaining portion here we will cover in the next episode, so I'll mark it off like that. Now let me give a rough translation before we analyze the individual elements. We see that there is not a need for a lengthy nor involved proof for unearthing the testimonies which tend toward illuminating and establishing the divine majesty. Even in this small sentence, or part of a sentence, we see many important grammatical elements. He begins with videmus, and this in turn introduces familiar construction, the oratio obliqua, or indirect statement. Remember, this has three elements, a verb of perception, which is, of course, we demus. Then we need an accusative subject, and that will be, in this instance, essa. And third, we need an infinitive, excuse me, will be, in this instance, opus. And third, we need an infinitive, which is essa. Now, this word opus, of course, because it is the subject of essa, of the indirect statement, it is neuter singular, and accusative. And this word, when it's in this idiom, opus esse, always patterns with an ablative. Thus we have demonstratione. Demonstratio is a third declension noun, demonstratio, demonstrationis. It has two modifiers also in the ablative, namely longa and laboriosa. I've put those macra over the a's because they are by nature long as adjectives of the first declension. And this tells us, of course, that demonstratione is feminine. So we see there is no need for a lengthy or involved, laboriosa, proof. And then he introduces, Calvin introduces, the preposition odd with the gerundive for demonstrating purpose. Very common construction. For unearthing or digging up the evidences. Now, what kind of evidences are they? Well, you can see testimonia here is neuter plural, and accusative. The preposition odd only takes accusative. The singular of testimonia is testimonium, and it is modified by this gerundive, namely eruenda. A handy note is that a gerund is a noun, a gerundive is an adjective, that is, a verbal adjective. For unearthing the proofs, what kind of proofs are they? They are proofs, quae illustrande aserendaeque divinae maestati serviunt, proofs which tend toward the illuminating, illustrandi, and the establishing of the divine majesty. So we have here one noun, namely maestati, the grandeur or glory, and it has several adjectives, illustrandi, gerundive, Aserendi, another gerundive, and duinae, a simple adjective. Why are these all dative? Well, it's simple. The verb servio, servire, always patterns with the dative. Tune in next time for more Calvin.